hello good morning and welcome to saturday i thought i would vlog today so hello um i just got my nails done it is saturday at noon um so not kicking this video off too early <laughs> uh I, I had my nail appointment i have some errands to run and i also have a few crafty things that i want to get done today um and i need to start packing for stitch north this time next week I will be in Brampton. I have figured out the name of the city, Brampton, Ontario, uh, for Stitch North. So yeah, I've got a lot to do today. So let's let's get it all started. Uh, yeah, can I get a non-fat iced latte with caramel? Okay, um, I can already tell that this is gonna be one of those days where I have about 10 things that I want to get done and I'm only going to get done like four of them. <laughs> I feel like very motivated and excited for today but I also have a lot of stuff to do because I leave in less than a week to go to Toronto for Stitch North which I am so excited about um, and I also just have a lot of crafty projects that I want to make some progress on. Um, I want to get a new pair of socks started to take with me as like a travel project. Um, I finished a cross stitch project last night and started a new one. <laughs> and yeah, I want to drink this iced coffee and eat my croissant. Oh my gosh, I have something really funny here to show y'all too. I don't even know where to start today. Um, we're gonna start with coffee. Let me show you the cross stitch I finished last night. <laughs> um, this is Where Flowers Bloom by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. And I started this a couple of years ago, maybe in 2021, whenever it came out. I This is one that I had seen on her Instagram and just like fell in love with the border and knew as soon as it came out, I would stitch it. Um, and it's been almost done for a long time and I just kind of let it linger and I was like, let's get this done. So last night... I finished it. I mean, I've been, I didn't finish it all last night. I've been working on this for a few nights the past week. Uh, it has not been ironed yet, but oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with the colors. It's so springy and pretty. Um, I used the Averisua silk. I think it gives like a like there, you can use like 103s or the Swadage, and then I think it also does like a DMC conversion. And so I use the Swadage, which is like the slightly thicker silk, uh, one strand on 36 count fabric. I'm forgetting what fabric, so I'll just like put that detail on the screen here. But yeah, I used all the called for silks. And um, I did stitch most of this in 2023 last year. Like I really got close to finishing it. So I had already put the date in. And I think I mentioned in a recent video that I was going to unpick that three and put it in a four. And I looked at doing that last night. Um, but because I stitch from right to left, I, I stitch in hand and I use the sewing method. So I stitch right to left and up and down. So that means that when I started stitching... Um, I started with this three. And so if you are familiar with like unpicking your cross stitch, it's easier to unpick from the last stitch, not the first stitch. So obviously I could have unpicked this three, but I was like, do I care? I stitched most of this in 2023. I just finished it this year. <laughs> so I didn't unpick it. I don't think it matters. Um, yeah. Oh, I really want like a really pretty gold frame, I think for this. I need to get this measured and put it on my list so that when I'm shopping for frames, I can find something fun for this. It's so pretty. So that's what I finished last night. And then I started a new cross stitch project last night. Um, and I'm gonna show it to you. I joined a mystery stitch along and I have not done a mystery stitch along in like six years, maybe seven years. I think the last one I did was in 20, 16 or maybe even 2015 from Frosted Pumpkin. Is that nine years? <laughs> what is time? I'm just not no normally like a mystery stitch along type of person. I like to know what I'm getting, but um, Lola Crow Cross Stitch has been doing some really cool stitch alongs the past few years. And I've been watching a lot of people that I watch on Flosstube stitch them 
and it's just fun and I was like I got totally swept up and influenced by all the uh, people I follow on Instagram to join the new Deadly Aquarium Sal. And so I started it last night. <laughs> um, also, I did take a little footage last night. I tried a new product that I got at Market. Let me grab it. I got this Cross Stitch Buddy Ultimate. Um, this was very kindly gifted to me by, is it Amanda? Let me look up her name. Oh, I, I'm filming on my phone. I can't look it up. Um, the owner of Stitchy Pros, the designer of Stitchy Pros, her and her husband developed this uh, cross stitch buddy ultimate tool. And I talked about this in my market recap video, but I hadn't gotten a chance to use it yet. And um, so I needed to like kit up my Deadly Aquarium Sal and it calls for like 20 something maybe DMC. So I wanted to put all my DMC onto thread drops because that's how I like to stitch. And I wanted to test out like the, you know, thread cutting element of this because it has three different lengths that you can cut your thread. And so I use the 18 inch length because I'm stitching with one strand. Um, if I'm going to stitch with two strands, then I like to do a 36 inch length. And then I do like the loop start method. But um, since I'm doing one strand for this project, I used the 18 inch length and I got all my flosses kitted up. You can see them all here. <laughs> um, some of them are long because um, I pulled like from my DMC stash that was already on thread drops and so I had a few of the colors and then everything else um, went onto the rings and you can see these were cut to 36 inch length because whatever project I was using these on I was doing like a two strand stitching. Uh, yeah so those are the threads and then I got a little tiny start last night. I am obsessed with this seagull like when the frame got released um and I saw these little seagulls I don't I don't know why that made me want to stitch it so bad but it really did um <laughs> I just think this is so cute and so fun so I am stitching mine on a piece of 36 count picture this plus Nessie um and I bought the 12 by 18 or maybe 13 by 18 piece let's see what does it say 12 by 17 okay um so a 12 by 17 piece of linen and so it's gonna fit perfectly with like two and a half three inch margins on the side but only one and a half inch margins on the top and bottom um I didn't really look closely at my stitch count when I was buying this fabric I probably should have just bought like a full fat quarter but um, that's okay. I do my own finishing and framing and I can handle a one and a half inch margin. Um, like the highest point is probably about here, like somewhere over in the middle. So I'll have about, you know, an inch and a half, but that should be fine. Um, I think this fabric is so pretty. Yeah. So that's my new start and I want to work on this a little bit more later. Uh, I think I will probably take this with me to stitch north. Um, the other thing I'm doing new with this project is I'm trying out Markup RXP on my iPad. So um, Pattern Keeper and Markup are kind of like PDF, cross-stitch, how do I, like a, an app for cross-stitch, right? Where you like, it imports your chart, you can see all the... I don't even know how to describe what it is. I literally downloaded it last night for the first time for this chart and I don't know how to use it. Luckily, I'm gonna be at Stitch North next weekend and all my friends use it so they can show me like how to use it most effectively. But it's, I kind of like stitching from my iPad. So I think I'm gonna bring my iPad with me to Stitch North and I'll be able to stitch on that one and a couple of other projects that I have on PDF. So that's exciting. Um, it just kind of like imports your PDF chart and then you can like highlight all of the same color symbol and it tracks your progress and you can like highlight and mark things off with your apple pencil um i don't know i'm using it for the first time i'm normally a paper chart stitcher but yeah i wanted to give this a go this tool by the way i don't even remember if i finished talking about it i really really loved using this to wind my floss um i've definitely seen other tools out there for measuring and cutting floss, but I absolutely love that this has, oh, let's see without the glare, 18 inch, 24 inch, and 36 inch lengths 
Like, this is so cool. And then it also has like a gauge to measure your fabric. Um, I know that these were available at market for stores to buy. So I'll, I'll Google and see if I can find a link to anywhere in the, that's selling these. Um, and I'll also link to Stitchy Pros who, um, who invented this product because it's awesome. And thank you again for gifting me this. This was very kindly gifted to me at market and I really appreciate it. And I'm really glad I got a chance to use it last night. Yeah, okay, but before I do anything crafty, we do have a few errands to run. Um, we need to go to Ikea because, okay, let me turn you. Ooh. This bookcase, so I have three of these Billy bookcases in my office and a stack of stuff that needs to be put away. Um, and so this bookshelf right here that has all my fabric in it, I really want to relocate my fabric stash into these um, drawers that I have in my closet. And instead, I want to use this cabinet for yarn. Ikea sells glass doors for these Billy bookcases, so I want to go pick up a couple of doors today for this one and see how I like it. And then since we're going to be over, okay, let me turn you back this way. Um, since we're going to be over by Ikea, there is one of my favorite quilt stores over there. So I think, um, and I think they're having their third Saturday, like 20% off sale. So I want to go do a little bit of fabric shopping. I'm thinking I kind of want to do a new like quilted bag tutorial. So I have that in mind for maybe some supplies. Not like I don't already have enough fabric in this room. But, you know, I kind of want to go do a little bit of fabric shopping. We'll probably get some lunch. And then later on this afternoon, I'll get back in here and get crafting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm going to finish my coffee and I got a croissant. <laughs> I don't know why it came in styrofoam, but anyways, uh, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay, so it turns out we have a little bit more time before we need to leave to go run errands. So um, I'm just getting my second Cider House sock started because I also finished this, not last night, but maybe two nights ago. Um, isn't this so cute? This is a sock set from Paper Crane Yarns. And um, I actually met, oh, I'm forgetting her first name now too. I'll put her info on the screen. I met her at market this year. Um, she is a yarn dyer, a yarn shop owner, and now she's doing um, cross stitch and adding cross stitch into her store. And uh, anyway, she hand dyed this beautiful, beautiful yarn. And she knit herself a pair of these Cider House socks and I saw them and I wanted the exact same ones. So I'm just following the pattern as called for. I think I'm doing the medium, adult medium size. And I got the first one done and um, now I'm just working on the cuff of the second one. And I'm gonna watch a little YouTube before we um, go run errands. from Ikea and I now have two glass doors that I want to put on this cabinet um but first I need to get everything out of it <laughs> um yeah okay 
I'm really trying to decide if I'm about to start this organization project or if I want to sew. I think I need to organize first because I went and got these doors and I don't really want to just leave them up against the wall. So I think I need to do a little organization first before I can sew anything. Okay. <laughs> Did you come to help? <laughs> um, I got the three hinges in. Um, I wanted to leave my fat quarters and my scraps in here, but the problem is on this bottom row, <laughs> the problem is she's so cute. Are you so cute? Hi, do you need some attention? <laughs> um, but the problem is the hinge will take up space here for the door. Hey, don't scratch. <laughs> okay, well, I might need to play with her and then I'll come back and finish this. <laughs> okay, well, she hasn't calmed down, but what I was saying is that there isn't room for three of these across with that door hinge on that shelf. <laughs> So I either need to put these on a different shelf that doesn't have a hinge, or I need to think of a different storage solution. <laughs> um, I don't have enough yarn to fill up all five of these empty shelves I created, but I kind of only want to have yarn on these five shelves. <laughs> um, and I'm going to leave. So this the door only goes up to this part. This extra shelf is an extension. So that's gonna stay bookshelves. I need to move this so the doors can close cleanly, but yeah. Okay, let me, I need to lay this door down flat and add in the other side of the hinges. I love it. It looks so good. Yay! And now I can have all of my pretty yarns displayed. Whew! Okay. Um, now I have to deal with everything I took out of this cabinet and don't have a home for yet, including I need to figure out what to do with all my bins. And then I get to load it up with yarn. Oh, man. That got me good and sweaty. <laughs> um, I could have asked Rob for help, but he's watching a movie in his office and I was able to get it done. So uh, how about a little mini haul? While we were out, um, we went to Ikea to grab this and then we also went to Joann's because I love Joann's, but I don't have one very close to me and there's one right next door to Ikea. So instead of going to the quilt store, we went to Joann's. Um, I feel like I'm really far from this camera. Ooh. Hi, 
if anyone out there, why am I trying to talk while I'm adjusting this tripod? If anyone out there watching um, also makes YouTube videos and has any tripod recommendations, please help me out because I keep buying these like Amazon basic ones and they're just like, like my camera falls over. Um, anyways, haul. Uh, let me show you what I got from Joann's. They had all of their scissors on 40% off. So I got a new pair of the like titanium Viscars that are really good for fabric because um, I needed a new pair of fabric only scissors. So I got those. And then I got um, a little pair. Uh, these are my absolute favorite cross stitch embroidery small scissors. It's the Ginger three and a half inch. Um, they're so sharp. This is what I was using in those clips from last night when I was kitting up my deadly aquarium. And 40% off. It's awesome because you really can't find that anywhere on like at a local needle workshop. You can only really get that at Joann's. So 40% off, grab those. And then I got two fabrics. Look how cute. <laughs> um, so I've really been wanting to sew some clothes. Oh, I forgot I have another piece of haul that I was gonna show you. I'm all over the place today. Um, I've really been wanting to sew clothes. I've been talking about it lately. And I wanted to look through Joann's like apparel fabrics. And really I was kind of interested in like a rayon chalet print and I didn't find anything that I like absolutely loved. Um, but I did find some knits that I absolutely love. So these are both soft brushed Jersey four-way stretch knits. So, um, you know, nice and stretchy, white on one side printed on this side and I really want to try making some like tees and tank tops with knits because I've I've sewn with knits a few times but really only to make like little baby like stretch pants like that's basically what I've made with knits before maybe I made a t-shirt once a long time ago when I was in college but either way um I just thought this little daisy print was super cute and then I could not resist the strawberry print um I don't know. Maybe I'll make myself some little like sleep shorts or something. I don't know. I just wanted to work with knits. So I got a couple of cute ones to add to my fabric stash. And then let me show you the rayon chalet that I got on Etsy that I have plans to make a dress out of. It's not folded neatly because I was like honestly draping it around myself and looking in the mirror to like make sure that I really thought I could wear a whole dress out of this print. But I think for a summer dress, like, I think this is gonna be cute. Um, oh, what's the name of the pattern? I can't remember, so I'll put it up on the screen. This is a pattern that I bought the other night that I would like to make with this uh, fabric. Honestly, the only reason I haven't started, because I got this fabric, I think last weekend, is because of how big the pattern is to like print out and cut out and get ready to like actually use. Anyways, that's what's holding me back, is actually making, like printing and making the pattern. Um, and then I just have to cut it out and sew it together, which would be the easy part. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, a dress out of this, maybe some t-shirts or shorts out of those, um, knits, just as like practice, like nothing that I think is going to be like, you know, part of my like outside the house wardrobe, but I just want to like, you know, dip my toe back into the water of like clothes making and, and see how it goes. So yeah. Okay. I really need to get some water. <laughs> and cool off for a minute and then come back and load up all of the sock yarn and sweater yarn and everything that I have into these shelves. I also got a few storage boxes that are meant specifically to fit on these Billy bookcases. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what will go in them, but I just kind of wanted, I mean, they were like $3. So I just kind of wanted to get a couple and see like what might be useful to store stuff like scraps, like scrap yarn, less sock leftovers, sweater leftovers, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I need to put this together. <laughs> Voila! That one was cardboard and I also got this fabric style one that literally just pops open and then it has a base. This one doesn't have a lid. Uh, no, so yeah, this one's just like an open top bin that like slides perfectly into the billy. Ow! Ow! <laughs> just stubbed my toe so hard.
is. Um, I have a lot more yarn than I thought I did now that I <laughs> have it consolidated. Um, I'll do a little tour of the yarn cabinet for you. So up here on the top shelf, we have all of my sock sets. So a sock skein with like a mini attach and then just all of my individual skeins of sock yarn. And I put all the Christmas ones over on that side. And then down here, I have fingering weight that's not for socks. So like 100% merino or cashmere or whatever, um, like for shawl projects. So I have all of those quantities. Um, these are my mini sets that I have ideas for, so I want to keep them together. And then I have four skeins of sport weight yarn. <laughs> and then this shelf is all of my commercial DK and single skeins of DK. Oh, and one sweater quantity of DK. And then worsted and bulky. So I have a sweater quantity of bulky. Well, I think it's like a vest quantity. And then um, some yarn for a cardigan I'm working on, a sweater quantity of Superwash 220. And yeah, that is the yarn cabinet so far. And all the boxes that need to <laughs> be taken out. Okay, so this is looking great, but I have left myself a crazy mess <laughs> um, that I have to deal with. And I'm actually slightly concerned that my fabric altogether might be too heavy. I need to look up the specs. Like I know this alpha system is pretty strong. Oh, don't mind this nonsense. Um, and I've already got a lot of fabric in these three drawers and I really need to fit all of that and all of this over here somehow <laughs> um or my other thoughts were so like this is all needlework these are like my whips all of my charts um dmc silks miscellaneous finishing stuff linens project bags i mean <laughs> kits um, so this one had been like kind of decorative, like obviously I have all my little smalls and cute things behind me while I film and these have like seasonal finishes in them. And this is kind of like wool felt storage with some additional decor stuff. This is all kind of nonsense. Um, batting scraps, foam, bag making supplies, etc. <laughs> Uh, so basically I need to decide, should I repurpose this shelf to be all of my fabric storage? Like just kind of repeat what I had there on the center or maybe just for like my fat quarter bundles. Um, like I've got some bundles and things like maybe I could put pretty fabric bundles up here. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to do for the yarn cabinet, I have basically drawstring bags full of sock weight yarn and DK weight yarn, so like fingering and DK. And I think I want to, I think these are already wound into balls, but these are all just kind of like loose. So I want to wind the DK skeins into like tighter cakes and then transfer them all into these little bins to put in the yarn cabinet. So I think that's what I'm gonna work on right now. Okay, so I think the fingering weight skeins are all ready wound and I'm actually going to separate out my little mini skeins because I love to use these as contrast on socks. So yeah these are just like all my leftovers <laughs> from different socks I've made. all of my sock scraps. Now it's time for the DK, which I think I have a lot more of. I've been knitting a lot of sweaters in DK lately. I have this whole <laughs> st 
stuff bag plus all of ooh, the leftovers from the stripy sweater that I just made myself. Um, so all of this needs to be re-caked and then hopefully I think it'll all fit in one of these. And then these can go on the bottom shelf of my new yarn cabinet. I'm gonna be so sick of winding by the time I'm done with this. <laughs> Okay, well, um, today did not really go as planned. I <laughs> really spent my whole day cleaning and organizing and running errands and, you know, living life. Um, so all that sewing I was going to do, it's not going to happen in this video. I, <laughs> I think I'm going to wrap this one up now because it's 1130 p.m. on Saturday night. And yeah, I should probably go to bed sometime soon. And I really would like to go work for maybe like a half hour on my haunted aquarium frame, the first piece. Um, cause I'm really enjoying stitching on that. I had a really good time starting it last night. So yeah, I guess this just kind of turned into like an organization, um, <laughs> vlog and maybe tomorrow, since I now have my tabletop cleaned off, I don't have all the fabric put away. It's sitting in the closet opening and I just need to get it organized into those drawers or figure out if I want to use some of these shelves but at least I have everything cleared off the tabletop so I can do some sewing tomorrow and maybe I'll just vlog tomorrow too and then I'll have another video for you guys um yeah so I think that's where I'm gonna leave it thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in my next video bye